All right, today we're covering Hamilton tappets and a Hamilton camshaft install. This is the same for a stock camshaft and stock tappets. The first thing you need to do is obviously install the tappets. I like to do it with the block upside down, but if you do not have an engine stand, you can set it upright on the crankshaft and put them in that way just so they stay. I like to lube all surfaces of these tappets, including the push rod surface and the surface the camshaft rides on. I also lube each individual camshaft bushing journal just because when you push the camshaft through, it can push some of the lube off. So I wanna make sure every single bushing has lube on it. Then I partially install the camshaft and then I lube all of the journals and all of the lobes. And then just, you're gonna have to spin it a few times and pick up on it, just be gentle with installing it. And then once you get it to that last portion, then line up the timing marks to the crankshaft, which I will show you a close up of in a second. Uh, after that, you wanna put the bolts into the retainer. The retainer does need to be installed on the camshaft before putting the camshaft all the way in. These bolts need blue Loctite or red Loctite and they torque to the equivalent of 18 foot pounds. And there's the timing marks lined up. 